If you want to customize the screen on the Samsung Galaxy S4, you're in the right place. Hey everyone, this is Mike and in this clip I'm going to give you some home screen customization tips and tricks, starting with the basics and continuing with more advanced methods, like using launchers, custom widgets and so on. First, you get a couple of basic ways to switch between home screens on the S4. You can swipe between them to the left or to the right. Then, you can jump directly to a screen by tapping the little dot-shaped icons at the bottom or tap or swipe through the dots to change between screens quicker. And third, you can just pinch the screen and you will get these home icons, each representing one of your home screens. From here, you can quickly jump to one of them or you can rearrange the screen's order. You can also add a new screen and delete an existing one. And last but not least, you can change the main home screen by hitting the house-like icon on top of it. Moving on, you can change your home screen's wallpaper. For that, tap and hold any free area of the screen and from the menu navigate to the wallpapers. Here you can pick between your regular wallpapers, the animated live ones or just choose any pictures from the gallery. You can't assign different wallpapers to each home screen by default, but you can do that if you're using a launcher. Then it's time to add widgets, apps and folders to your home screen. Adding apps is quite easy. Go to the app drawer, tap and hold an app and then place it on the home screen. For widgets, you'll have to get to the widgets tab in the app drawer and also tap and hold the widget and then place it. You can also press and hold an existing widget to be able to remove it from the home screen or to resize it if it allows it. Last but not least, in order to create folders, you just have to hit the menu button on any home screen and tap add folder and after that just drag and drop the applications inside that folder. Of course, these are just some basic home screen customization tips. You can also download new themes and widgets from Google Play, but if you want to fully change your S4, you'll have to install some launchers. You can find them in the store as well. And I'd suggest looking at Nova or Apex, which are my favorite Android launchers right now. I have a more thorough clip about launchers here on the channel, so you should definitely check it out. But long story short, Launchers allow you to change the grid size of your home screens, to overlay apps and widgets, to add different animations when changing between home screens, to customize the row of dock tabs at the bottom and many other. See the clip for more details. Alright, that's about it for now. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or anything you might want to add, post your comments below. I'll see you in the next clip.